Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you this beautiful double cut crease with negative space and glitter step by step using the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, one of my favorite palettes and I've used this on so many brides. So if you're ready, let's begin. To fill in and shape my brows, I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow from Benefit and this is in the shade 4.5. I first brush my brow hair downward so I can fill in the top part. It's clearly visible and it's easier to fill it in that way. And then I brush my brow hair upward so I can fill in the lower part of my brows. And after I'm done, I like to brush my brow hair once just to spread the color across evenly. As a primer on my lids, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145. I'm also going to clean up underneath my brows with this concealer. You can also use a primer if you prefer, but I like concealers because it also evens out the skin tone. And the brush that I'm using is a flat shader brush from Colourpop. And I'm going to very lightly set this with the Airspun Translucent Loose Powder to make it easy on myself while blending. And I'm also going to be using sticky tape in the corners of my eyes to get those dramatic straight edges. For transition, I'm going to be using Zulu, but I'm going to be using it very light handedly because I just want a flush of color at the crease. And the brush that I'm using is the Sigma E40. With this brush, I'm going to use Zulu at the crease and I'm going to feather it and blend it outwards so I get that elongated eye look. To deepen at the crease, I'm going to be using Zobo. First, with a small definer brush, I'm going to carve out my crease. The definer brush that I'm using is from Coastal Scents. And then with a small blending brush from Hip Dot, I'm going to soften this and blend it out with the transition shade. And I'm going to keep on adding color till I'm happy with the intensity. I want to deepen the crease at the very outer end just a tad bit so I'm going to be using this black eyeshadow from Colourpop it's called Let's Do It with the same definer brush I'm going to use it right at the outer corner and then again using a small blending brush I'm going to blend and soften this up. Now it's time to cut the crease and work on the lids but before I cut the crease I like to mark the area where I want to cut the crease and I'm using the Milani concealer again and the brush that I'm using is a flat shader brush by Colourpop and before I start working on the lids I like to clean it up and for that I'm going to be using the micellar cleansing water with a q-tip I'm going to clean up any residue that's fallen on my lids and then again using the Milani concealer I'm going to cut the crease and paint my lids with the concealer leaving the outer third open for a gel liner. To set this concealer, I'm going to be using Dahia with another flat shader brush. This is a beautiful antique vintage gold shimmery shade and it's best to apply a shimmer shade when your concealer is still tacky because it'll cling on to it and the pigment payoff is so much more better. Using the Ofra Black Gel Liner, I'm going to define my outer corner and the brush that I'm using is a liner brush by Colourpop. I'm just going to take it up my lash line just like you do your winged liner and then I'm going to go parallel to my cut crease in the very outer corner leaving a small gap so that's going to be the negative space. I'm going to fill that area in with the same gel liner and I'm going to diffuse it with my finger just to make the blending easy. To set this gel liner, I'm going to be using Let's Do It, which is the black eyeshadow from Colourpop. And the brush that I'm using is a flat shader brush by Do Color. Mm -hmm. 
And now to bring the eye look together, I'm going to be using Zobo between the black gel liner and the gold eyeshadow. And the brush that I'm using is a flat shader brush by Hip Dot. To soften my lower lash line, again I'm going to be using Zulu very light handedly and the brush that I'm using is a pencil brush. To highlight the inner third, I'm going to be using Dahia again with a flat shader brush by Colourpop. For eyeliner again, I'm going to be using the Ofra gel liner in black, first in my waterline and then in my top lash line, I'm also going to pull out a small wing in the inner corner. To thicken my lower lash line, I'm going to be using the black eyeshadow with a small definer brush by Hip Dot. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to be using Dahia again. You can also use a highlighter, but I like this eyeshadow especially on my skin tone because it gives that golden glow and that looks absolutely stunning. For a delicate glitter on my lids as well as in the negative space, I'm going to be using the Folklore Beam Highlighter and this is in the shade Platinum. This is a very light liquid glitter, so it's not going to give you those chunky glitters and there's not going to be any fallout, so it's very easy to work with it. To finish up, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. The one that I'm using is Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. And for lashes, I wanted something that wings out, so I went with my favorite. These are Brazen from Black Label. And here's the completed look. Let me know what you guys think and if you plan to recreate this look. Please don't forget to tag me on my socials. Everything is listed down below in the description box, along with all the products that I used today in this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and my artistry, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.